Hello traders, this is Jay from DayTradingSupport.net and we're going to be learning how to add uh, some indicators to our chart. So we're going to review again, go through adding um, or, or re downloading replay data. So we go to File, Utilities, Download Replay Data. We're going to select our instrument, which for you is in your default. And for me it's in my little folder, DTS Trading, Training. And now we're going to select date. And we're going to reuse the same date for now, just because I already have it loaded. So I'm going to. You can select your date. This may be uh, far in the future. You're watching this video, so um, you can pick any day that you want that you want to replay. If you want to replay the current day, you just go ahead and select the 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 current day. So now we're going to go ahead and click OK. Look in the lower right hand corner. You're going to see it downloading. When it disappears, that means it finished. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to replay market replay connection. Okay, now we're going to go back to our chart and we're going to select 8:30 in the morning. Oh, that's right, I need to do the correct uh, day. Let's go to the from and select our day that we downloaded, which I did the 12th. The 12th to the 12th. And then I'm going to change this bar to 8.30 in the morning on the 12th. Or somewhere thereof. And now we have our chart data. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is, before uh, we learned how to how to draw onto our chart, now we're going to actually add some indicators. Now you've all heard the word indicators; um, they're they're uh, chart elements that help us gauge and frame the market. So what we do is we right click over anywhere on a blank area of the chart, so anywhere in this white area. Now if you right click over some object like chart data you will not get the same thing for instance I just have see these black dots it's highlighted now if I right click on that I'll get a different window when I right click so make sure you are deselected off any object and then right click anywhere where there's no information or no object now you'll get this menu so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to indicators which is right here and here we see a list of indicators and the indicators we're going to be using today is going to be volume so we're going to these are alphabetically ordered in this top window so we're going to go all the way down to volume there we go and we're looking for volume up down you can experiment with any one of these indicators you want but the ones we're going to be covering in this video is the volume up down so either click new or you could have double clicked over volume up down and we're gonna leave it in the default that comes up so we're just gonna click OK now we have this new window that came up and now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, we're going to add a couple of moving averages so let me right click again now an another way to get to the indicators window is through one of these buttons up here and I'm gonna wait and see if it highlights and, and, and tells us what that I believe it's this one right here there we go if you're if you're clicked onto the chart and you highlight it says indicators so you can click that button or you can right click and select indicators from the menu so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, what's called exponential moving average so I believe it's EMA and there it is EMA so I'm gonna double click I'm now going to change the period we're gonna be using two moving averages um, the first one we're gonna use is gonna be 21 that's a 21 period moving average so it's gonna take the average across 21 bars in history so I'm going to go and click. Uh, actually, I'm 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 just going to. Uh, oh, I'm going to add another moving average. So let me go ahead and add another one. So we go to EMA, 
you can either click new or double click EMA and now this one we're, go we're going to be adding will be a 52 so now we're going to go ahead uh, I think I need to change the color of these two because uh, they could they both come up this yellow so I'm going to make um, the, the the 21 I'll leave yellow the 52 I'm going to uh, click on this little um, expand uh, button and I'm going to change that oh it looks like it's orange so I'm going to change that uh, to something that really stands out um, I think I want to select maybe purple or something that looks like purple and this magenta looks good good enough so I'm going to click OK and now there are two moving averages we have the yellow one is the 21 period moving average the purple one is the 52 period moving average so that is how you add uh, indicators into NinjaTrader and the ones that we're going to be using to train is volume and then exponential moving averages at 21 periods and 52 periods okay we'll see you for the next video